So there's a video going on around the internet about a mother of four seeking sympathy and donations for something that she did. Let's watch the clip. Hey y'all, coming to the life of a single mom with four children under the age of four years old. Yes, I have four children under the age of four. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. So I just want to say first, thank you guys for all the people that's been sending me positivity, that's been saying positive things. I just want to say thank you guys so much. You guys really don't even understand how much I really needed that. Thank you for the ones that sent in my children things. Thank you so much for that. We are beyond grateful for that. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Now, let's get into some things. To the negative Nancys, let me address a few things. For one, I do not have multiple baby daddies. My children share share the same father i have one baby daddy and how did we end up in this situation life happens i just had my twins a month ago they are two months as of today i was not able to work my pregnancy because i didn't have the help or the support with my other two children so that i can work so what happens next life happens but that's okay this is my journey this is my testimony this will not touch my children my children won't even remember this they remember how i went hard for them stay tuned and watch this journey thank you some of you may have mixed emotions about this i'm gonna give my two cents this is the reason why women need to be very selective about who they have children with. When we look at the world and we look at the dating market and we look at how many people are in the dating market versus how many people are eligible people in the dating market, we have to understand as a woman, you lose a lot more when you make a mistake on the dating market. This woman is living in a hotel with four children. Now, unfortunately, she she was left by the baby dad, but there is some good that comes out of this because she was responsible enough to have a child by the same person four times. That's the only good thing that comes out of this situation. If you really, really look at it from a logical perspective, what made you decide to have four children by the same guy if he left? Now, I could see if he passed away or y'all were married and y'all did whatever, but see, this is the trap that a lot of men put women in. See, what men will do is we'll promise a woman a dream and then not deliver. We'll promise a dream and say, oh, well, we're gonna get married. We're gonna have a family. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. And you have the woman believing that you're gonna do something and you're not going to do. But on the flip side, you have where the woman ends up believing a lot of what you're saying and goes along for the ride. So you have to remember is that the problem is on both sides. Because the woman chooses the Pookie or the Ray Ray to have a child with and the man lies and deceits to get what he wants and then once he gets what he wants he leaves he was never there for the long term i believe we do need to help single mother not financially but we need to establish programs to help educate them about what a pookie is what a pookie does what to look for in a man see black women especially you need to have higher standards when it comes to a man because you go after a man who looks good who excites you who makes you tingle on the inside but you don't go after a man with substance you think men with substance are corny and some people are traumatized you're choosing a mate based on your traumatic pain this is why therapy is so important what therapy will do is it will help you uncover a lot of the issues that you have in data stop it Get some help. And I believe men and women need to go to therapy. More so, I believe both black men and black women need to go to therapy. Therapy is going to repair the single mother epidemic. Therapy is going to repair the Pookie and Ray Ray epidemic. But at the end of the day, this is where the whole body positivity and my body, my choice falls apart. 
because it's great to say my body, my choice and have body positivity and sexual freedom, but you have to deal with the consequences. Anyway, that's been it for today's show. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.